Huawei <laughs> ban threatens wireless service in rural areas. Opheim, Mont U. Kevin Nelson was recently in the middle of his 3,800 acre farm in northeast Montana, where the landscape stretches out like an ocean, when his tractor broke. He tried to find, it's really frustrating, Mr. Nelson, 47, said about the poor reception. We keep being told, now, it's not likely to improve anytime soon. Plans to upgrade the wireless service near Mr. Nelson's farm halted abruptly this month when President Trump issued an executive order that banned the purchase of equipment from companies posing a national security threat. That includes Gear, the chief executive of the wireless provider in Mr. Nelson's area said that without access to inexpensive Huawei products, his company could not afford to build a planned tower that would serve Mr. Nelson's farm. The Trump administration's ban, against the company, rippled through the telecommunications industry. Wireless carrier, but perhaps nowhere, will the changes be felt more acutely than in rural America, where wireless service is spotty despite years-long government efforts to improve coverage. They also add to the, Huawei is essential for many wireless carriers that serve sprawling, sparsely populated regions because its gear for transmitting cell signals often costs far less than other options. The president's ban is forcing carriers like Nemont, which serves Oppheim, to scrap expansion plans. In addition, Joseph Fraynel, the chief executive of Eastern Oregon Telecom, a small carrier that relies on Huawei products, said he was being forced to rethink his business. The reason why we are able to serve our customers is because we are mindful of costs, he said. We don't go out, while Huawei sells many types of technology, including smartphones, the vast majority of its revenue comes from sales of equipment that moves data through networks into devices. Only a few other American intelligence officials have accused Huawei of being an extension of the Chinese government, and say its equipment could be vulnerable to espionage and hacking. Mr. Trump, Huawei is something that is very dangerous, the president said on Thursday. It's possible that Huawei denies that it is a security risk, saying it is an independent business that does not act on behalf of the Chinese government. It says 500 restricting Huawei from doing business in the US will not make the US more secure or stronger, Huawei said in a statement. Instead, this much of Mr. Trump's focus has been on the next generation of wireless technology, known as 5 Watanias. But Huawei, Nemont, based near Oppheim, is one of those companies. Its footprint is, Nemont first reached out to Huawei nine years ago, when its members decided to upgrade their cellular network. With subsidies from, even at the time, officials in the Obama administration about Chinese equipment makers and their ability to break into American networks to steal intellectual property or hack into corporate or government networks. Defense Department, the officials were vague about their concerns over Huawei, then a little-known firm. But Mike Kilgore, Mr. Kilgore, said he was ready to go another route if Huawei's equipment would put customers at risk. I was begging for them, Mr. Tester's office called him and said it didn't see any major concerns with picking Huawei, Mr. Kilgore said. A spokesman from, after the call, Mr. Kilgore chose Huawei, which offered to customize its equipment and charge 20 to 30 percent less than competitors. Nemont has since expanded its high-speed wireless network using almost all Huawei equipment. Mr. Kilgore, the other vendors hardly gave us the time of day, and now they have been acquired or are out of business, Mr. Kilgore said. We took a gamble, the technological upgrade changed lives. Kevin Rasmussen, I can sit up here in my tractor and do my banking, monitor six weather apps and read up on things like trade and Huawei, all on my phone, Mr. Rasmussen said. Rural American, Nemont had plans to extend that high-speed service. It had leased land, but the company tabled those plans after Mr. Trump's executive order. Many companies that extend wireless broadband to rural areas, like Nemont, depend on subsidies from the Federal Communications Commission. But Ajit Pai, we believe that it is important that networks are secure not just in urban areas, 
but in rural areas as well, the agency said in a statement. There are currently many. Mr. Kilgore estimated that it would cost $50 million to replace his Hawaii I equipment. If that is the only, Mr. Rasmussen said that would be a big blow to his farming operation. We're getting squeezed on all sides, he said. The tariffs and tra Mr. Kilgore has argued, through his work with the Rural Wireless Association, for an exemption to the FCC rule for small rural carriers, or for subsidies to replace the Hawaii I equipment. A bipartisan group, Mr. Kilgore got another glimmer of hope, too. On Monday, this is a big day, Mr. Kilgore said after getting the email. It's not every day. Yeah, that, that, that. Looking up, open the park, pot, pot.